Ida. Hello everybody and welcome back. Today is Thursday, which is still in the Memorial Day weekend week actually and there has been fantastic weather outside people are out and about and so on but we're going to continue to taking care of ourselves with today's lesson so the day is a little bit different again than the other one so on monday we had a very athletic workout and today we're going to do a little bit more isometric holds and isometric holds are where the muscle is not shortening and not lengthening we're trying to hold it in a certain position get ready for that it will not be easy but i always like to remind you guys i'm talking with my hands today that um if you need to take a rest take a rest try not to hold your breath breathe out relax into it okay and only do the things that feel comfortable to you what you need today is of course it's always the water bottle which is standing over here we also have a chair and we have a mat i have it already as well and most important you need yourself to have a great time okay let's get going ah oh, i was just in the kneeling position for a while so we're going to stand up today Oops, good and what i like you to do is right now is we're just going to start out with the hands okay i'm going to show it to you like this just check the hands out a little bit like this i'm going to stay for a second here Nice job, but you can do that standing if you wouldn't mind, that's okay. And now go the other way, down into this position. Yeah, you got that. Good. And then get it, move it away like this. So it's almost like, ah, get away from me. Yeah, go a little bit higher up here. Good, and then in that position, a little bit more towards the front. And then go up like this. And then go side and side. Yes, having a good time. Good job. And then back down again like this. Good. And again, change it, the hands pointing down, and then get away from me, right here. Nice job. And then towards the side, yep. Good, and let it come towards the front. Nice job, and bring it up again, right there. Good, and go side to side. Nice job, and let the hip go side to side a little bit. Nice and easy, we're just preparing for gentle motions because it will be, a little bit more challenging today, so take your time. It's a little bit of a different speed what we're doing today. Not that it will be easy, your heart will be pumping. Just heads up. Good. Now lift up the heel a little bit. Gently. Let's do three more, two more, one more, and again, just the hands right here. Let them come out like this. Then forward. Good, just letting go of the tension, shake it out, right there. Good, towards the side. Ooh, feels good to let it go, doesn't it? The tension, move that away. Get away from me, <laughs> like that. And bring the arms up. Okay, and then like this, woohoo, having a good time. <laughs> good job. And from in here, let the hip move side to side. And maybe the hip goes a little bit further already without doing too much, just let it do it and so on. And you see I'm letting the knees go a little bit into it. And side to side. Nice job, take big breaths in. Now from in here, take a breath in. And breathe out, and what I'd like you to do here at the same time, as you're breathing in, let the rib cage expand, okay? Nice job. And one more time, I'd like you to just go right here. Hands, shake them out, right there, good. Turn the hands, bring them down. Do you feel the difference already on the wrist? Does it feel different? A Little bit easier, right? A Little bit looser, right? Shake it out towards the top and away from me, like that. Good. And bring it up again. Nice job. And go side to side. Nice job. And from in here, hip. Nice. And you can do all of the standing that I have just done. I just like you to see better what I do with the hands. So that's the reason why I'm coming closer to the screen so that you have a visual of what we're doing. Hey, do you notice the difference already on the side to side here that perhaps it's a little bit looser right now? It's not so, oh my God, it's so tight, right? So let go, learn to let go a little bit. And now I'd like you to tap a little bit on the shoulders. Yeah, you got it, nice job. Excellent, nice. And let the head also move into it. Let's do three more, let's do two more, and let's do one more, and let the leg lift up, gently, gently. Nice job. 
So again, the speed is very different what we're doing today, right? Do you notice that? We're moving a little bit slower today. We're just moving up. Now what I'm going to ask you is we're lifting the leg up and we're letting the upper body tilt a little bit into it. So it becomes a little bit more of a hinge into it as the toe is still pointing towards the front. You got it. Let's do four more. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. Let's do one more. Just tap a little bit here and towards the diaphragm right here, towards the chest a little bit, towards the diaphragm, towards the hip, again towards the chest, diaphragm, and towards the hip, and go side to side. See, that's a difference here. Right now the upper body stays upright. Do you sense that? And you're lifting up. So you can feel very much Right now, the glutes and the la, the really the gluteal and the butt working and the tension fascia latte, those are the muscles on the side here. And it's very different when you're going to let the upper body move a little bit into it. Yeah, you got that. Nice job. Bring your hands up here. Yeah, you got them. Yeah, Cheryl, you got it. Barb, you got it. Nice job. From here, go reach out. But you don't have to do this, so you can keep it just here. You know, our head has about 10 to 12 pounds and let it come into it, but you can reach out if you want to. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. Let's do one more. And again, from in here, just let the head move a little bit side to side. Nice job. Nice, just the head. Hey, as the head moves towards the side, do you see that, that the, the rib cage goes to the other side? Head goes to the right, rib cage goes to the left. And then as the head goes to the left, ribcage goes to the right. You got that? Good, nice job. Let's do three more, two more, one more. Bring your hand towards the left ear. Yes, and do you see it's very, it's a different experience when you're going a little bit side to side into this position right now. Just let that move, good. And now let the elbow move into this as a rotation. Nice job. Into a rotation. So you're looking down towards the right heel. So the hand is towards the left ear and you're looking to the right heel. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. And let's do one more and just side to side. Ooh, okay, good job. Nice, and again, just do what you can. And perhaps you're feeling right now already a difference that one side is perhaps a little bit more limber than the other side. Okay, bring your right hand up towards the ear. And now from in here, I'm asking you to look over the left. Shoulder towards the left ear, you got that. And rotate a little bit into it, nice job. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. And let's do one more. And now from in here, side to side, lift up again. Nice job. Easy, it's still warming up, guys. I'm just getting you ready. Take that easy, nice job. Body stays upright. Good, now let it tilt into it, nice job. Going right here, I was coming up, and if you like, you don't have to, but you could. Nice job. Hey, thank God there was a little door here because I just almost fell over, but that's okay if that happens. You know, it looks so always easy to have this coordination with everything that we do, but it is not. There is a lot of organization going on with the movement itself and stability from the leg. Let's do four more, three more, Two more, one more, ear towards the side. Yes, nice transition, right? Good job. Let's do three, let's do two. Now change the ear, like this. You got it. Yes, did you hear the little whistle? There was a new one. <laughs> I haven't done that one before, good job. Let's do three, let's do two more. Let's do one more, and from in here, round and arch, look up a little bit, round a little bit, and up. You see that? Round a little bit, and look up, round a little bit. Good, now bring your hands towards the knees, and go into rounding position and arching position. Yeah, rounding and arching. You got that? Nice job. Yes, I told you we're doing a little bit something different today, so it starts right there. Now, bring your hands down, come on your knees if you can, there's a little bit of a change. And from here, we're doing the same thing, rounding and arching. 
rounding and arching. And really coordinate that so the head goes up and your butt goes up. You got it. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. And let's do one more. Stay here. You see how I'm keeping the lower back arch? Keep that here. And I ask you to stay in that position, not to change around, but from here, let the elbows bend a little bit. Come forward. Elbows bend a little bit and keep the chest up. So what I mean by that, not to round forward. Many times people going into this position, that's not what I'm asking for. I'm asking you to really keep the chest down and see if you could let the chest come down towards the floor, lowering like this and keep going, please. Nice job. In that position, in that arching position. Nice job. Excellent. Yeah, you got it. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. Very easy. Take your time. Last one. And round and arch from here again. Round your back and arch your back. Round your back and arch your back. Round your back and arch your back. Round your back. Stay here, lean into your hands and lower a little bit and push. Lower a little bit and push. Lower a little bit and push. When you do this, the chest needs to come down and back up. Try to avoid that rounding position here. Really let the chest guide to come down to the floor. Yeah? And the lower back is an arch position. Remember, arch that lower back. Keep that butt up. So it does, it's very really much like this. The chest comes down and the sacrum goes up. It's very much that hinge. Let's do five more. Five, good job. Four, very nice. Three, you got it. Two, and we're doing one more and round and arch. Go for it. Round your back, arch your back. Perhaps that is a little bit easier this time. Do you sense that? Nice. Good. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. And let's do one more and bring the chest down. Go for it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. You got it. 13. 12, again, keep that arch position. 11, keep breathing. 10, 9, if you need to bring the wrist straight, that's okay. 8 more, 7 more, you got it. 6 more, 5 more, last 4 more, last 3 more, last 2 more. And one more, yes. Now bring the right leg front. You got that? And bring it down. Now bring the left leg front and bring it down. Bring the right leg front and bring it down. Left leg, so follow me on this. You know, and I like you to pay attention when you bring the right leg up. What does your right hip do? So right leg goes up. Does the right hip tilt a little bit and the left hip, you see, goes a little bit up this way? Just pay attention to this, yeah? So it's very much that position, right? Right leg goes up, right hip lifts up a little bit. Left leg, yeah, you got it. So all of us now, doing that one more time and we're going to stay with the right leg in the front. You got that? Now from in here, I'd like you to lean forward. You're connecting with the foot. Now lift up the left knee and we're staying here. Hands crossing over. You stay in that position. Stay in that position. We're going to change. Check that. How many seconds do we have? And we're holding this position. Nice job. Excellent. And we have, very simple, 15 seconds. 14, 13, we're just holding, sit into that. Yeah, that's 10, nine, eight, come a little bit lower, just an inch off the floor with the left knee and take a rest. Ooh, okay, now again, left side, 
and right side. Left side, and you can move a little bit the hands if you like. Into it, one more time, your left side. Yeah, you think this is easy right now. Mm -mm. You know me already. Yeah, exactly. Good, one more time with the right, and we're going to switch over towards the left. We're staying right here. Lean into the left leg, right into this position, you got that. Now, cross the hands over, and from in here, lift up the right knee one inch, and we're holding right here. Stay here, stay here, guys. This is my thumb, and you see how thick that is? That is one inch. So check in where the right knee is. We're holding in this position, yep, you got that. Yes, I know, Cheryl, this is difficult. You got it, Barb. Nice job, nice. And take a rest, and then go back towards the right leg and the left leg. So I'm not sure about you, but you stand the heart rate a little already coming up. I told you, this is a very different, um, really, as explained in the beginning of the session, a very different workout that we're doing. It doesn't always have to be the cardiovascular where we're moving and jumping and so on, but that isometric hold requires the muscle to activate. Oxygen is needed, blood is needed, and so on, and the heart just responds with the demand and starts pumping a little bit faster. That's the reason why it is. Good. Hold the right leg out. Hand up. Ready? Lift up just an inch. Reach the arms forward. Stay in this position. Stay here. Let me check on you guys again. Good. And I'm going to... Yeah, yeah. Good. 20 more seconds. Cheryl, bring your right knee further down. Nice job, Barb. Gigi, welcome. You got it, Roseanne. Stick your butt in the back. And you have five more seconds, four more seconds, three more seconds, two more seconds, and let's go. Yes, now again, left side. She should just come into it and do what you can do. I'm doing more isometric holds today. So my heart is up and I'm going already. Now we're holding out here, left side. Ready? Hands reaching forward, hands reaching up. Lean over the left leg. Right knee lifts up, holding, staying here. Hold it. Gonna check on you guys again. Nice job. Excellent. Shiji, lower the left knee more. Lean forward more, Shiji. Bob, lean forward. Yeah, you got it, Cheryl. That looks great. Cheryl, lower the knee a little bit more. Yes, Roseanne, you got it. Nice. And you have five more seconds, four more seconds. Three, two, one, take a rest. I know, this is really difficult, guys. Keep going. I give all of you a little bit of a warning and take care of yourself. Okay, you got it, nice job. You can move the hands a little bit. Hey, do you notice already different that the hip becomes a little bit freer? Is that easier to go? And it's not just that the leg lifts up here, we have the hip flexors working, the internal, external obliques, they're all moving right here. Good, are you ready? Hold out with the right leg, stay here. Lean forward, ready, go up. Left knee's a little bit up, and we're holding here. Yep, you got it. Stay in that position. I'm always checking for you guys, we're doing only 30 seconds here. Yep, let me go and check on you guys again. Yes, we're saying, looking strong, Cheryl, Bob, that looks awesome. 15 seconds, Shishi. Yep, you got it, last 10 seconds. Last five, last four, last three, last two, come down. And again, go back into that movement of walking pattern right here. Nice job, excellent, you got it. Stay with me, yep, excellent, stay out on the left. Arms forward, reaching, lift up, stay here. Hold it, keep breathing, try to let go. You see, we try to work so hard and uh, but let that go, that tension, and see if you can breathe into this, all of that a little bit, and just holding in this position. Nice job, excellent. And three more, and two more, one more, shake it out. Now go straight into it with me. From the warm up, we have just done this. Hands going up here, you got that, now reach in. 
Yes, and do you notice the difference right now from this position? The second time around, is that a little bit easier? Okay, good, so listen up. Now see if you can form a little bit more of a T position. So not just like starfish, like this. Okay, let the head come and let your body move into a T position, like this. Whoa, and take your time. You don't have to do that fast. Coordinate that movement. Take your time, nice job. Coordinated, yes, you got it. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. Let's do one more. And shake it up, good job. Get a sip of water, guys. Okay, that was just the beginning. <laughs> Okay, take that very easy. So this is something called bongo jumps. You see I'm jumping a little bit up and down right here. Yeah, and from here, what I'm going to ask you to come all the way up. Big jumps, 20 times. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, take a rest. Take a rest. When you do this movement here, I'm asking you, it's almost like you're doing a jump rope movement like this, okay? And it's not bending from the knee. This is not what we're doing here. It's here, up. Got it? 20, again, go for it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, take a rest. Yeah, exactly. Just wait. Take your time. Ready again and see if you can get off the ground, off the ground, off the ground. Really up and 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 up. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Take a rest. Nice job. Excellent. So now the other ones, they're called the rocket jumps, and the rocket jumps going from in here, lifting the arms up. We have done them before, but I'm gonna give you the rest, okay? And this is not everything right now. Ready, but 20 of them, go for it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, she should keep the chest up, 10, 9, 8, good job, Rosanne, 7, last 6, last 5, last 4, last 3, 2, and take a rest, shake it up. Nice job, you feel the heart rate already going? That's awesome. Rosanne is doing something really awesome, she goes down here like this and just swings it up. That's fantastic, but many of you guys are so in shape, you can do the plyometrics approach into it, and that's okay. Are you ready? We're doing 20 again, go for it. Go 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 6, Six, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, and one. I'm not sure about you guys, but there's lactic acid build up and make sure when that happens, you're going to take a rest, shake it out, and also make sure, take big breaths in, okay? Make sure when you do this, please, don't just swing into here, shishi, body upright, let this, let this knees move, okay? Are you ready? One more time and go for it. Go, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, you got it, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, you got it, 7, yes, Six more, you got it. Five people, four, I'm sweating. 
three, you got it. Two, one, and shake it out. Nice job, guys. Okay, as you're shaking out a little bit, we're going now into this position. Body goes up, body stays upright, okay? We're saying you know how to adjust this at this stage, but everybody else, body stays upright, and you're going to go open, open, open. We're going to go for 20, are you ready? Hands to your hips if you want to, and go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, you got it, 7, relax, 5, 4, relax your mind, 3, 2, 1, take it easy. I know your heart is going at the moment. Take your time. Rosanna, I know you might gonna do this. That's okay. Some of your legs are really killing at the moment. I, I am aware of that. But as you're doing more of this, you're getting stronger and also your chemistry of your body adapts. Keep that in mind. Are you ready? Let's do it again. 20, go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, shake it out. Get some water. Okay. As you're getting some water, I'm going to explain to you what we're going to do next, okay? Next thing that you're going to do is 20 bongo jumps. I'm gonna show you bongo from the beginning. Right after, there is no break. Going into rocket jumps. 20, and guess what's next after this? What do you think is coming after that? Yes, right here. Yep. Yeah. Guys, this is not easy. This is a killer, what I'm going to ask you to do right now. Let's count together, okay? I can't hear you, but I can see you. Count with me. I'm gonna keep my voice stable, okay? No matter what's going to go on, you're going to count with me. Are you ready? Bongo jumps. Ready? Set, go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 14, 13, 12, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, you got it. 13, 12, you got it, come on. 11, 10, 9, 8, stay with me. Six, come on, can't hear you. I can hear you. Four more, three more, two more. Now let's get going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yes! Get your heart rate. Woo! Nice job. Deep breaths, guys. Take big breaths in. Nice job, Barb. Good job, Shiji. Cheryl, respect. Okay, are you ready? We do this again. Take a little bit more time. And again, do what feels comfortable. Good. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Set. Bongo jumps. 20. 16, 15, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, hands to your hip, go. Jump, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Walk around a little bit. Nice job. Excellent. Good. We're doing one more. This is our last one, okay? One more time. This is our last one. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. Good. Last one. Get ready. On five. On four. On three. Two. And go. 20, 17, 16, 15, 12, 8, 5, two. jump, rocket, 1, 2, 3, I'm doing 20, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more, go, 10, Nine, eight, seven, work on it. Six, you got it. Five, you got it. Four, three, two, go. Ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay. Get the chair ready. Put your mat right next to it. And we're going to lie down on the floor. Nice. Very nice, guys. Okay. Chair is ready. And if you want to, you can use the towel. Might feel a little bit comfortable if you pick out the shoes. And put it on the, on the chair right here. Okay. Now from in here, lie down. And place the heels on the chair. And bring your upper body down. And from this position, I'm going to ask you to push the heels down into the chair. And let go again. Push the heels into the chair. And let go again. Push the heels into the chair and let go. When you push the heels into the chair, do you sense that the hip goes up? Yeah, great job, keep that going right now. And as the hip goes up, do you sense that you're getting more weight onto your shoulder blades? Yeah, great job guys. And you're just letting him come up. And you don't have to exaggerate. There's not a question you're going to have the extension at the moment. Just do what feels comfortable to you. But focus on letting the heels push down. And I'd like you to pay attention towards the knees. Do your knees bend or do they keep, keep straight? Well, what I'd like you to do when you do this movement, that your knees are going to stay straight. So let me have a look at you guys. Yes, you got it. Good job, Cheryl. Nice job, Shiji. And Shiji, you can let your butt come always all the way down. Let it come down. Let your butt come down in between. So give yourself that break where you're going to let go. Nice job, um, Barb. That looks good. Yeah, and push the heels down. Yeah, you got that. Nice job. Okay, very easy. Let's do five more. Let's do three more. Sorry, four more. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. Last one, lift up the legs, hands behind your head. And just from here, I'd like you to bring the, yeah, the legs up. You got it, nice job. And I like you to pay attention towards the elbows. When the, the hip goes up, what are the elbows doing? Do they stay open? And if so, yeah, keep them. And if they lift up like this, Try to avoid that. So again, do not let the elbows lift up here. I want you to keep them open and it's okay to let the, 
the hip, the hip go up and down and the leg swing a little bit downwards towards the chair. That's completely okay. But now what I'm going to ask you to do is one time to look towards the right and one time look towards the left. One time towards the right and one time towards the left. Good job. Let's do eight more. Seven more. Six more. Change the head position. Five more. Four more. Plus three more. Plus two more. And last one. Legs down, please. Yes. Arms down. And again, from this position, push the heels into the chair. Lift up. You got that? Push the heels into the chair and down. So can you feel this working in your hamstring? Yeah, it's... Hey, welcome back. I can hear you. Okay, now you can hear me again. Good, everybody back. Yeah, thank you. Good, okay. We were with the heels on the chair, and if that happens again, just continue what you do, and I will come back. It's the internet just went out for a second here. And that happens, and that's all okay. Nice job, good. Let me fix all of that again. Good, excellent. Good, let's do eight more. Seven more. Last six, last five, last four, last three, last two, and one legs up again and lift up the legs up and down. Nice job, guys. Okay, so since you're working here at the moment, you know, we're always so concerned that something needs to go up, but can you pay attention also? What pushes actually down? when the hip and the legs go up. So perhaps it's the lower back actually, or the upper part of the lower back, more about the L1 and the T12 pushing down. And if so, could you actually start that movement instead of lifting up, could you start that movement by pushing down into the floor with, with the back, with the spine? And isn't that the same result that the hip goes up? But doesn't it perhaps feel a little bit better in your neck? Do you sense that? So again, I'm not asking you to lift up. I'm asking you actually to push down. And what I'm asking you to push down is the, the back, some parts of the back. It might be the L5. It might be the T12 or some of that. Good. And I'd like you to take a rest. Legs down on the chair. And again, push. Good. So you know this movement at the moment. And now see if you can do this with one leg. Yeah, it's not a big movement. I can't even do a big movement. I don't want to. I just want the activation a little bit into it. Not a big one. Nice job. Take it easy, guys. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. And the other side. Let's go aim for five on the other side. On the ready leg goes up and go five. You got it. Four. Very nice. Three two and one lift up your legs and go push something down into the ground go and lift up hands behind your head and now turn your head one time right and one time left one time right and one time left and now lift the upper body up into it as the head turns one time right and one time left and now let the elbow come into it towards the knee. Let's do eight more. Seven more. Six. Five. Four. Very nice. Three. Two. And one. Both legs up on the chair again. One leg. Leg straight and go. Five, guys. Four. You got it. Three two and one more other side take your time you don't have to rush this and go five take your time four you got it three you got it two 
and one. Stay here, guys. Watch. Turn on your side. Bring the leg on the chair. You got that? Elbow underneath, elbow underneath, hand up. Now, you know this position. Good. So, right now, the right knee is still down. Leg, but could you try to lift up a little bit the knee? Could you? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes? Do two more. And one more. And let it go. When you do this, you're just lifting up the knee a little bit, but the foot stays down on the floor. This is enough, guys. Okay? So I'm changing the chair over to the other side, and you can see me. I'm in here, but again, straighten out. The elbow is underneath here. Hand. Good. And go. Lift. Stay right here. And now I'm going to ask you to lift up a little bit. Just the knee. Just a little bit. Yeah, let's do three more. Let's do two more. And one more and take a rest. And remember, you don't have to lift up the knee. Right? You can just keep that in position as well. And go for it. Left leg goes up. And you can just hold it here. That's okay. And push a little bit the heel down. But push the heel down and if you like, lift up the entire leg. If you can, nice job. Let's do two more. And last one, and shake it out. Yeah, my, my, my glasses are steaming up with all of this. It's the reason why you see me already bringing my glasses up and down, up and down, because I don't see anything. But you don't need to see anything, so you just need to listen. Listen to the voice and to your inner voice as well. Lift up, push the heel down, and lift five times, four, Three, two, and one. Good. Relying on the back, please. On the back at the moment. From right here. Hands, will, hands coming down here and lift up a little bit here. Lift it up. And if you're lifting up the hip towards the sky, push the hands a little bit down. Nice job. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hands behind. Straighten out the left. Straighten out the right. Straighten out the left. Straighten out the right. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Take a rest. Nice job, guys. Okay. Right leg up. Swing it up and come back down. Just hold on to the right knee when you do this. You see that? The right knee. Yeah, a couple of times. Good. Nice job. Now hold on to the left knee, please. Left knee, okay? Left knee and do the same thing. Lying down. So there's a little bit of inertia going on. You see with the right leg straightens through. Nice job. Two, three more. Two more. And one more. Nice job. On the elbows. Come through here. And stretch out. Ooh. Good. Okay. From this position, pick the left hand, straighten it out. Bring the right leg up. And stretch on your thigh. Other side, go for it, right hand front, left leg up. Good. Now push yourself up into this position and come back forward again. Just let the hip move a couple of times, free that up. Good. Let's do two more. And let's do one more. And now stand up. Hey, did you notice when you were standing up? This is that movement that we just have done in the beginning, right? Good. I'm going to finish the lesson like this. Lift the hands. Shake out the hands. Right like this. Shake them from down here. And let it go. Pull it away. Yes. Sideways. Hands up. Woohoo! <laughs> and thumbs down. One more time, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. 
Again, breathe in and breathe out. A couple of more and breathe in and breathe out and breathe in. And good job, guys. Awesome, guys, everybody. I'm not sure about you guys, but I was sweating like crazy. Ah, me too, me too. Me too. Oh my God. How about you, Rosanne? Shiji? Yes. Shiji? Yeah, I'm sweating. Cheryl? Cheryl, you have AC on, right? Cheryl, can you hear me? Oh, Cheryl is on mute, that's why. Cheryl, no, I can't hear Cheryl. Cheryl is the only one who has AC on. <laughs> looks like a flat, Cheryl looks like a fresh flower for this entire process. She's not even sweating. <laughs> Her makeup looks great, the hair looks great. She's like, mm, I got this. <laughs> I'm sweating. Not me. Uh, Roseanne? Yeah? Rosanne, I'm so impressed with you. I watched this through this entire thing. It's great what you do. It's really awesome. Shishi, that was Thank awesome. You. I know you came in a little bit late, but that's okay. You're doing great. By the way, Shishi, I can't hear you, and Cheryl is on mute as well. Just heads up. You know, on the screen, for whatever reason, um, Shishi, you need to unmute. And either voice is okay. Anyhow, thank you for coming, guys. Thank you, Stefan. Stefan. Thank you. Have a great weekend, everybody. Aww. Thank you. Thank you, so Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I look like a mess. Let's see. I hope the recording doesn't come out that way because I'm like, okay, makeup is on the next time. <laughs> Bye, Cheryl. Bye. Bye. Bye, girls. <laughs> Bye, guys. Ooh.